everybody, welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue checking out the 1.7.9 update. Today I'm excited. A, we're kicking things off at this oak event uh, that we left off with last episode, but B, we have enough turret parts to craft our first turret, and we might very realistically be able to get enough to actually upgrade the turret up to level 2 as well, or worst case, even make a second turret. So we got options today. We got tons of awesomeness to check out but to kick things off uh, here we are oh starving apparently <laughs> we also got some dog tags to turn in to uh, that guy but we got what appears to be a couple of bad dudes down here and an oak event so i do want to check out what type of oak event this is because there is usually a variety of oak events and here we can see uh probably oh it's another one of these so we've had this oak event before I want to go ahead and uh, begin the process of throwing these dudes down and making sure that we heal. I'm a little bit... Oh, dude, that's the one thing. I'm way too careful with my heals with these guys. Oh, bubble. Yeah, way too careful. Way too careful. We just got to hopefully mow down the rest of these dudes. Holy hell, dude. I can still never get over... How did that other guy die? Hold on. I thought... I... Was there a third dude? Am I crazy? Oh, there is. I guess we just killed them so quick, I didn't even notice. <laughs> but I hope you guys have an absolutely favorite fantastic day on this amazing, amazing day. It sucks that we got the exact same oak event as we got last time, so we could just kind of do really quickly the oak collection and make sure that we're processing that. Uh, maybe we got... Ri Ooh, that's new. We didn't have a hatchet last time. That's handy, actually. I'll go ahead and take that and actually start taking a couple of these materials as well. They got a campfire to stay nice and toasty. Ooh, hold on. That's a nice chest right there. Why don't we make sure to do that? I wish we could loot the dead foxes. Like, they definitely still got fur on their bot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'll take that oak log too, baby girl. It looks like we're getting a lot more oak log stuff than from the last time when we did this oak log event. Uh, however, ooh, we got the medical supplies to make up for hey, exactly how much we lost too. Uh, what is it though? We are starting to get a bit on the hungry, hungry, hungry hippo side. Why don't we go ahead, pop open the inbox, get the baked beans, and get the bottled water. Put them two puppies to as good use as can be. Munch on all that. Heal up a little bit with the multitasking. And uh, honestly, I don't want to collect. I'll, we'll try and collect a couple of oak trees here. It just oak, oak tree collecting can be tad but on the tedious side and i'm just like so excited i just want to go home already i just want to build that turret i can't wait to put it down this is the first time and i'm sorry if i'm a little bit too excited about this guys but we the end goal for me at least i want four turrets all right i want all of them upgraded to the max i think the max is level three at least in hard mode or like i don't maybe in normal mode too but at least in the bunker whenever you start getting shot at by a max level turret for long enough that turret hello dear that turret will literally begin doing this thing known as uh, shooting grenades. I don't know about you guys. I would love to shoot grenades at any intruders with our raid. Speaking of that, the rating system has actually changed. I know a lot of you guys have been trying to tell me. I was aware of it. I guess I just didn't uh, mention it during the video. I thought I did, but uh, the raids have changed now to where you actually can break furniture and you can also, you have to break into chests using iron hatchets, which is also another reason that I don't want to use all of these, but at the same time, oak logs are amazing so i kind of do want to so i don't know i'd also like to avoid fighting these guys as much as can be and just trying to find the oak trees wherever they might be but with today's video i'm really excited for these turrets let me know you guys in that comment section down below how you own a turret adventures and how the floor for shenanigans that was really bad english i know but how all of that has been treating you guys and uh, what the favorite part of this video will be between what we're going to be showing off hopefully another oak event honestly spawns that'd be pretty cool if not maybe a revenge raid we can go on and uh, hopefully getting this turret set up and maybe getting enough parts to even upgrade it a second time from the bunker so tons of awesome just getting ready to roll and uh why don't we go ahead try and finesse this oak tree before anyone notices so let me know that in that comment section down below along with making show that you all subscribe for more videos as we continue covering this update and hopefully a new update coming soon as well do i know that there's a new update coming soon no hopefully there is though because i like updates because updates are fun and honestly i it's not well, we're gonna get two oak logs i think there's like one tree max left over I'm gonna just go ahead. We're gonna head home with what we got because uh, is it really worth having to massacre an entire zombie horde to just get what two more oak logs? I'm gonna I'm be a hard pass on that. But uh, let me know in the comment section that type of stuff. And reminder that comes, but you throw the way into the week of $25. 
at suit slash play store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that the like button and make sure that you are subscribed and that will enter you and on this video y'all can enter it on every single last day on earth video and that thing's gonna respawn like 33 minutes but y'all can enter out every single last day on earth video what will happen is when saturday rolls around we pick a random video from the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that is zavina or zavina schnitzel no it's the winner of this week's giveaway and when the winner is announced don't feel bad don't fret we go ahead and begin a new weekly giveaway to boot so it's just a whole ton of awesomeness constantly and being spread to the amazing community known as all of you the fan freaking fantastic community some might even say but uh, with that uh, we do return here let's cross our fingers that we haven't been raided because uh, I, I don't think we have i don't hear the no no i think we have been raided no we haven't dude this is really weird actually we're down to two threat of attack we haven't been raided since the update which is really weird because like i definitely got stuff exposed maybe they're giving me a chance to build the turrets speaking of that what i want to do maybe once we get enough turrets set up what i would love to do i don't know if i'd love to do it but it's definitely something that i'm thinking about doing is uh going on a raid for these guys and angering them now why would i want to anger them because if you anger them they will actually come and attack our base in real time that is the one raid that we can actually partake in the raid defense so if we have three level three turrets you know if we're maxed out if we're kitted out i want to see just how much damage they can do and especially if they can shoot grenades because grenades are pretty dope but let's head on over here into our stockpile room where i have stockpiled the most valuable of things mainly though we got the turret parts and whatnot but we are also going to be requiring for the second phase of this a minigun luckily for us we raided an almost completely broken minigun from one of the raids we went out on so this is perfect for crafting this up absolutely amazing you don't need full quality minigun to do it which is really nifty really nice because that means that uh this minigun that we'd probably be able to shoot a couple times and then a break we can actually use to craft up a defensive turret so already right off the bat uh something known as epic sauce total epicness but why don't we scroll on down to the bottom of the blueprint area and let's see the turrets awaits me we just got to get some weapon parts some rubber parts or some iron plates and whatnot we should have all of these dispersed throughout our chest so just very quickly grab those uh maybe toss some aluminum in there there we do have a couple of nuts but we would need way more nuts than that need a lot more nuts in my life comrades know what i mean that's a marvelous thing <laughs> Uh, why don't we go ahead and actually begin processing that that should get just six more oak planks which we can use for a uh, further base honestly if we go if we're building up turrets might as well do some further base expansion at that point too uh but we're looking a little bit dry do we need transistors no we just need iron plates we definitely have iron yeah there we go there's the iron plates that we were looking for uh what else do we need to grab rubber parts weapon parts we have we have tons of weapon parts i know where the rubber parts are there we go we got enough right there uh no not that speaking of that though i don't know if i showed this off to you guys yet but apparently you guys wanted to bring this to my attention the pack for stash making has kind of changed priorities now i'd say it's more of a uh, pack for base defense because you know when you used to be able to get steel plates and uh the military box well now you can get the heat sensor you can get the turret parts and the safe still but they did add in the turret parts into this pack which is pretty freaking awesome i don't know well if you are a connoisseur of the packs and they also did fix this where it does say the price for everything dear mama that is an expensive expensive price but uh yeah if you're interested in packs i just wanted to notify you of those if not no worries i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna hold one of my many guns to your head and be like yo buy those packs right now like no no nah, i ain't i ain't gonna do that <laughs> yet no i'm kidding i i never gonna do that they are the nuts that we require and the last thing of course is the weapon parts of which should be right here and with that the first of hopefully many turrets has been crafted now i already know where i want to put this turret okay if you guys have been watching the videos for a while you know that for whatever reason the raiders have been upset and i mean one obsession with breaking into this area for whatever reason who the hell knows why right well, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna move this tripwire because it's not really even doing anything that productive move that right there all right here's what we're gonna do we got the turret we got to put it on a stone floor. We got a max of four. Let's go ahead and rotate it. Actually, I don't even know if it matters which way this goes. Um, why don't we go ahead and 
Toss that down there. And then we are going to break the spikes and whatnot, but so we're probably going to... I don't know, there's not really... Actually, no, we do have a solid amount of stone floors that are exposed. Why don't we go ahead... We can put the turret over here for now. It's a solid start. It'll defend the area. And then, we need to begin building up. We can toss in a heat sensor. Already good to go there. Oh, we do need to get more turret parts. Oh, no. Ho, ho, ho. At least we got the minigun there to boot, though. So that's good news. We're going to need some wrenches, some more rubber parts and whatnot. So there are going to be a couple more things that we need to grab. And uh, we are going to do a run to the bunker. But seven turret parts shouldn't be too crazy. Honestly, we should be able to get that on normal mode even so it shouldn't be too bad but uh why don't we go ahead let's go and start doing that right away ow 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 oh, freaking the spikes i forget uh then we can come back and if and when we do get the turret parts we can go ahead and uh take things from there but we do have some of the more rare things in the heat sensor maybe we'll walk out of here with more heat sensors maybe less who knows but i'm gonna grab a couple of guns suit up and uh prepare for battle and all right i'd say this is looking pretty good here let's also make sure that we bring 25 yellow tickets to boot and honestly while we are here we do have the wrenches that we can go ahead and really quickly toss into the turret so we'll make sure to do that but uh other than that i don't think we need more nuts and if we do we know where to find the nuts because we just found a poop ton right there we need a couple more iron plates you know when in rome and i just realized that we have a ton of stuff here we can put to use might as well grab some green tickets as well while we do this we can do a couple of openings maybe start finding turret parts over there as well that'd be kind of a cool little little nifty thing but uh with that well, i think we need more rubber parts too so we can grab those and toss those in there so let's go ahead put a couple more touches on this turret and set out to find the final turret parts and then hopefully upgrade this puppy to level two if not now very very soon so we can get the wrenches done we can get that done we can get the parts done i got tons of wiring for this and it looks like we do need a couple more nuts but uh that should be more than reasonable so yeah main thing that we need we definitely have all of these things we just gotta go get seven turret parts so hopefully killing a couple of turrets rule on the lickety split will allow us what we need and before we head out why don't we go and actually find out what the bunker code is for today it is usually a pretty valuable piece of information let's go over to this channel and you can see that it is 07462 07462 07462 and i hope i remember that because i don't have anything to write on nearby so 07462 i'm just gonna have to say it every once in a while you know to boot but uh, nothing like a 07462 I've probably already messed it up. Like, you know, 7462 to really get your day started off right. And actually, oh no, I found a pen. I found a pen. E oh, seven. I think it was. Oh, seven, four, six, two. Oh, get finessed last day on earth. That's right. Who needs memory when you have a little thing known as a piece of paper and a writing utensil? Yeah, oh my god. Now I'm just, I'm just being reminded of school. Oh god, I'm being reminded of the fact that I have to sprint to class in about half an hour. And sprinting is hard, boys. I was playing basketball just the other day. I was able to finesse a couple hours in my day after getting everything done, getting all my homework done. It was weird. I had free time. Go to play basketball. I landed on my knee. Or like, I landed super weird. And I think I like hyperextended my knee or something. It's like my knee's swollen. I'm, I can't walk right. It's weird. So that's been a uh, wish. Wish me a speedy recovery there, please. Wish me a KYR speedy type of recovery. <laughs> Uh, but here we are. Let's make sure that we enter the bunker code and then let's enter the depths and see if maybe if we're lucky Maybe the yellow crate can have turret parts. I could totally see that happening, but oh 7462 is gonna allow us to get in here. We're gonna go ahead Start heading into that and hopefully we can make quick work of this floor. This is normal mode We know what to expect. We got the weapons. I'm not like I I think we're more than fine, dude. This, this, this is just gonna be totally a breeze. Easy, breezy, lemon, squeezy, easy peasy, easy Pez dispenser, whatever you want it to be. You want it, I got it. Besides food, apparently. But hopefully we get that from the green ticket crate, so it won't be too bad. I did also bring the iron hatchets with us. Why? Maybe an oak event will pop up right after. It's gotta be prepared for us. And you know that I am a man who likes to come prepared or something like that. I feel like being prepared is just a good good life skill to have, and it's one that I try to uh, 
try to reinforce as much as possible. Let's get the second puppy opening. Let's definitely cop some food from this thing. Ooh, and an ancient part to boot. Hey, that's just dope. We'll get some of these bacon and jerky. We see up a ton of that because I love food. Uh, might as well grab a couple of those while we're at it. And what do we have in here? No wood turret parts, but we did get the connecting rod, which is nifty. We'll make sure to bring a couple of those things back home with us. But for now, you know what time it- Oh, actually, let's actually give these dog tags really quick, like, to our buddy over here. The fast biter didn't notice us. Bless. Uh, I got 30 dog tags for you, big boy. Keep making that progress, because I think that the floppy disk can actually contain some amazing things that have to do with turrets, such as heat sensors, turret parts, etc. So I'd love to try and get that popped open as soon as possible. And as we head to floor four, speaking of as soon as possible, there's going to be some refrigerated sections. I hope to get through those as soon as possible. And I'm going to try and save my rifles and guns First off, for the turrets, I'm going to try to use shotgun rain and stuff. We have a ton of shotgun rain, so I think that'll be more than fine. But I'm going to try to use the shotgun rain on anything that isn't my... Oh, actually, I could use a pistol, too. You know, why don't we use the pistol here for... Oh, mama, that's a lot of things. Let's not use the pistol for that. <laughs> why don't we hold on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Why don't we hold on over here and start taking these dudes out a little bit? Oh, that shotgun rain. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. Shotgun rain. Oh no, that guy didn't die. Shotgun rain to you too. My good sir, we got the fast biters we gotta take out. Fast biter number two. And finally, Floda Bloda number one. Goodbye to you. Thank you for. Ooh, a yellow ticket. That's a solid little improvement, but we should be getting pretty close to the turret room already, so that'll be nice. Can't wait until we get a dog so we can go and get us whatever's in here and whatever's in the lobby behind that locked doorway. Uh, let's get these toxic abominations. Start putting some good work in. I think this is a double toxic abomination room, so it shouldn't be. Ooh, goodbye to your legs, good sir. Uh, brought to you courtesy of Shotgun Ring, but it shouldn't be too hard. And then the next room. The next room is going to be a doozy. There's a lot of things in the next room, if I remember correctly. But that is also where we encounter our first turret. So it shouldn't be too bad. And honestly, as long as we got the guns, I think we can really start to kind of speed run through here. Also, definitely want to make sure to loot all of these things that we can. Because these things can have some super good stuff. Well, not this time. But they can. You guys know that that's a fact. I would never lie to you like that. And oh, ma, ma, ma. Well... Let's hope that we're ready for a- uh, Ooh, ready for a doozy! We got some toxic spitters we gotta deal with. Shotgun range should be able to deal with those rather well. We actually got a lot of toxic spitters. That's like the main enemy, it looks like, that's coming after us. Along with the toxic abomination. Ooh, what you the jukes, what you gonna do? Nothing, you can't do nothing against the god known of YouTube. Nah, I ain't no god of YouTube. I am the god of, uh, shotgun and rain. I'm the weatherman. I am the weather god. <laughs> that sounds like kind of like the National Guard. It's like, I protect the weather. I am the weather god. <laughs> All right, here we got the AK. Boys and girls, we're going loud. Cover the ears, put the earmuffs on. <laughs> Game lagged. Tried to finesse me into getting a bit too close to the turret. This what you get in exchange, Mr. Turret. I don't take kindly to such shenanigans. No, no, no. I just go and take the turret parts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One more turret kill, honestly. We should have the turret parts for this and things will look nice and uh, that looks okay. I wouldn't really say that's nice. Why don't we try and use uh, the band actually? Uh, yeah, let's just use the band-aids. We got hella band-aids anyways. Uh, we'll, we'll double back and get all of the loot off the dead dudes too in a sec. Let's switch over back to the shotgun range. I think we're going to have some frozen zombies. Ooh. Now that's a lot of frozen zombies, but we should have some frozen zombies. Vegan de oh my god. Nothing like the blowback of a good old fashioned shotgun rain to really, really send people flying. Goodbye to the numb zombie. Goodbye to the frozen bloater. And we just got one more bloater to deal with. I'm really sorry that you had to freeze and stuff, Mr. Bloater. But why you gotta take it out on me? Because then I gotta take it out on you. Because you're trying to take it out on me. So you're just taking it out on yourself. And that's not a good idea. If there's ever anything you gotta take it out, just just find a potato and take it out on the potato. Alright? Because, listen, potatoes, they have feelings too, but they're also delicious. So then you can make some mashed potatoes while taking any unnecessary anger out. It's like the circle of life, baby. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we gotta run through here. Hopefully not free. Shouldn't be too bad, though. And then on the other side, we'll await some heavy turrets. Luckily, 
We ha should have enough rifle ammo to take this guy out. He's gonna take a sec, so excuse me. Hopefully it doesn't take multiple AKs either, because multiple AKs is kind of sucky. I think that it will, but we will see. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna take one more. Uh, why don't we use, let's just start using an M16 here real quick. And can you, like, heavy turret, please? Can you just go ahead and drop, like, those turret parts? So I can go back home and craft up that turret? That'd be dope. Okay, thanks, bye. Turret, I'm relying on you, buddy. Don't, don't choke. Give me! Ooh! Maybe? Bruh. We needed three. We got two. <laughs> God dang it. Actually, no. Do we, do we need three? I, I don't remember. Let's just play it safe and try to get like one more. So we got to mow down one more turret. Hello, turret. Soon to be goodbye, turret. All right. Weapon broke. Let's switch on over to weapon number two. A little bit more M16. And cross your fingers, cross your eyes, cross all that you got, boys and girls, please. Can you have some good luck for me? Yeah, 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 you can. Thank you so much. Why don't we just go ahead, though, and uh, complete this circle really quick. There's like two rooms left that we got to roll through, and we could get some dope loot along the way. And the cool thing is that we need aluminum anyways to craft up uh, our turret. So look at that. We're getting some aluminum. It's a double whammy type of type of situation. Oh, let's switch on over to the shotgun rain. Is this going to be enough shotgun rain to take these guys out? I don't know. I hope so, because uh, I don't want to use the rifles. I want to save those for... Oh, no, 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 no. They heal. They heal. Ooh, check it right. All right, down with you. Ooh, down with you. And perfect. That's two dudes down for the count. Uh, and then with that, why don't we finish off this frenzy giant? We can use the pistol. Uh, we're gonna have to be careful not to get destroyed by these things. Hello, Mr. Frenzy Giant. Uh, how do you do? Right here, buddy. Right here. Yeah, that is me. I hope I have enough pistol to finish you off. Oh no, 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 no. This is not good. This is not good. Can I at least heal while I'm freezing? Dude, why does the Frenzy Giant not get hurt by that stuff? That's not fair. All right, come on. Get within my range where I'm not freezing for this shenanigans. There you go, Frenzy Giant. And if I can just finish you off with this pistol, that's going to be amazing because I can't use the pistol on turrets anyway. Ooh, we got a little bit of leftover pistol to boot. We can go ahead and start collecting the red tickets. Let's vroom, vroom, and zoom through here. Ow! Gotta be careful when we vroom, vroom, and zoom, but that will complete the first half of this floor. And that's okay, we'll come back here, we'll knock out the second half, we will most likely also do the hard mode and try to get a couple of things from here as well, but uh, we acquired what we came here for. Now we must go home, and I think you boys know what's gonna happen at home. Something absolutely absolutely amazing and... I keep telling myself I'm going to stop saying tootalootly. And here we are. Jesus. How have I ended up here? How am I in this room? Alright, I, I had to run home from class to knock these videos out while I still could. <laughs> and then I gotta run back. Yeah, this is my lunch break. It's become a recording break now. Lunch is optional. Alright, you guys are my lunch. Not in like a, not in like a carnivore, like cannibal type of way, like uh, entertaining you guys. Hopefully entertaining you at least, is my lunch. And then uh, I just get food afterwards. Dude, holy hell, I'm actually really hungry now that I'm thinking about it. Why you do this? Why you do this, noise complaint neighbors? Why you do this? I don't know. I'm just happy. Oh, the thing is, if we do anger the raiders once we are ready for their attack, there's one thing we got to keep in mind. I'm pretty sure they can steal stuff. Oh, they can come and steal stuff from the bunker. That is like the last thing that I want to happen because we do have a couple of valuable things so we might need to do a moving company. Like it's, it's, it's still a little while away until we even dare attack and defend ourselves against those things, right? But still, it's something I just kind of keep in mind. But for now, let's go ahead and let's get this turret in mind, boys. And ooh, I, it just sucks that it can't defend against zombies because that'd be really cool. Not even to like protect us from the horde. It'd just be cool to like... I don't know, just see it in action, you know? Because the only way we can potentially see it in action is angering the raiders. Now, I'd ask you guys to potentially do it and report back to me, but that's too risky, all right? Angering the raiders, that is a very hard raid to defend, and I don't know, but I'd, I'd love to see if the turret does actually shoot at them. We might need to wait a bit for me to test it out. I'm more than happy to take that bullet and uh, see how it goes, hopefully. Rather well, and we gotta make sure that the raiders like come attack us, you know, instead of just like the corner where my turrets aren't. 
for example. You know what? I can't wait till a feature that they got to do someday is they need raider replays where you can see when someone raids your base. I want to see that base raid happening, man. That'd be so cool. Yeah, it looks like we actually did have enough turret parts after that first one. Whatever, though, we, we finished up the circle. It's pretty big news. Let's toss some of that in there. Let's go and grab a couple of those last necessities that we needed. I think we needed, what, like 40 wire? Uh, for, I think I have an entire chest full of wire here. Oh, yeah, buddy. You know I do. Uh, we need to grab a couple of days nuts as well. Should be able to grab that. And then I think we need some aluminum. I got a ton of chests of aluminum, though. That's not even that's not even a problemo, senor. We'll be more than fine. I think we're going to need gas, too, to power it. But uh, we will see as that time comes. Um, we are going to need... Where are them nuts at, boy? I said that I needed them nuts. Where are my nuts and bolts? I am not seeing them. I thought for sure. Was it this chest? Yeah, there we go. All right, there are the nuts. Let's go ahead and put the engine part away as we continue stockpiling those things. And I'm so happy I have this massive stockpile of wrenches we've been working on because this will definitely allow us the ability to build the turrets and hopefully upgrade them. Uh, why don't we go ahead? We'll just grab a full stack of that. And I think that that's everything that we needed. The time is now, guys gals we are about to craft our very first turret for the base i wish i could just yell out in happiness that's what i want to do but i also want to continue having a place to live and i can't continue racking up the noise complaints because eventually they got to be like all right dude you got to stop uh but you can see we got all the parts together let's just click finalize and uh, there's our turret all right I think we do need to put that gas in there for it to, like, work or something. But we can try to upgrade it. You can see a level 2 upgrade is going to... Oh, mama. We are required... Ooh, that's a, that's a bit of a doozy. Well, we can go ahead and start the upgrade. Does that... Uh, Okay, it keeps that there. At least that's good. Why don't we go ahead and take a peek at the parts here really quickly. So we can repair the turret if it withstands damage during a raid or something. It looks like we can actually use turret parts to go ahead and repair it. So maybe we'll get raided. Maybe we'll see something with that go down. Uh, and then we need fuel for it to actually turn on. We can upgrade it. That's going to take 40 turret parts. So we might need one more bunker run until we can get an upgrade. Five steel plates. We definitely got those. Wiring. We definitely got enough of that. Uh, and the electronic circuit. That's what I'm scared of. But if you guys do look, you guys can see see the durability does not have a number associated with it but it does have 20 attack if and when we decide to upgrade it, it will add 10 attack aka it will become 50 percent stronger of a turret pretty big upgrade and get 300 additional health i'm guessing it has like i i maybe if we turn it on it'll tell us how much health it has so let's try and get that fuel that i've been talking about we should have some fuel some there we go we got some fuel right there and then we can also see so it looks like it needs to be powered before it can fight. I don't think it will uh, attack anyone in this state that it's in. Uh, also, really quickly, can I actually take these things out? No, I can't. Uh, if we move this thing around, why don't we go ahead and turn it on first? Let's do that. Then we can start finessing it around and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead. Let's put that in. No, not the coupons. Put that in there. We can pour it. And every single fuel looks like it adds one hour and 12 minutes of time to the turrets. And you can see the turrets is fully operational. And now that it's operational, if we click on it, there you guys can see the range of it, how it will attack, how it will defend. You guys can see that little arc ahead of it. Looks like almost 180 degrees of protection. It will be the direction. Ooh, the rhymes though. Uh, the direction it will be able to shoot at. So here, for example, we could protect this area relatively well. It does have a range associated with it, but still pretty awesome stuff if you ask me why don't we go ahead and close that out um i would like to move this as well you know we could move this inside of a room try to get a little bit cheeky you know if someone decides that uh no the the furniture i meant there we go if someone decides that they want to come and uh, attack me or something you know break through one of my walls because that room is a pretty popular room to honestly be broken into we can uh we can be prepared for them trying to do that. Oh, dude, that's so awesome though. I love the fact that we have a first turret. Can't wait to bring the total up to four. And I really cannot wait. Oh boy, I cannot wait to murder someone with this thing. Hopefully the Raiders, like I said, and if we do upgrade this level three and it does start shooting grenades. Ooh, oh, that's gonna be a doozy. But uh, all right, I do wanna reposition this thing a little bit actually. 
so it can be a little bit more defensive. I'd like to put it there and then rotate it twice. There we go. And now it should have a lot better coverage because the Raiders, for whatever reason, they love breaking through this area. So if they do break in, hopefully that will be the necessary protection that we require. Uh, and honestly, if they do end up breaking one of these walls, what I might try and do and what I might try and experiment with is try and have a window and have the turret behind a window or something. So that way no one can come up and just melee the thing. It'll just be like, ooh, dude, if that ends up honestly working, that would be crazy. <laughs> I, I'm just so excited, dude. We finally got the turret. Uh, I'm not going to pour the gas in. I will leave it there for now, though. Uh, we do have some extra aluminum and whatnot. Honestly, why don't we go and start doing something somewhat productive with that aluminum? We still got a couple extra parts here. Two turret parts out of the 40 that we are going to require. I, I, I think by next bunker run, we should be able to upgrade this thing because... Uh, in our first total bunker run, we got, I want to say, 33 turret parts. Yeah, we got 33 turret parts. So if we get right around that, like, 30 to 40 turret parts per run, we need 40 right here. We're like, we just got seven through this run. Like, there's, uh, I don't think it can happen this run, but I do think we can come very close to making it happen. And then, of course, the electronic circuits, which luckily we have acquired some through raids. And this is why also we're hopefully going to be needing to do hard mode a little bit more so we can try and acquire more of these. We got one. We're going to need one to upgrade it to level two. I don't know what level three is going to require. Hopefully nothing too crazy. I could see it doing like engine parts maybe to like shoot the grenades or electron. If it needs two electronic circuits, dude, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Wah. <laughs> But uh, with that, I think that's a good point for us. I should go ahead and start wrapping this video up. We accomplished the things we set out to accomplish. Next time, we will return. We will be doing tons of the bunker floor and hopefully a new oak event for us to head to. Because I've heard from people, I think that they've said like, some people said there's like four, they've seen four or five total out of like some of the other YouTubers that I've talked to and, you know, seen which events they've gotten so far. I think there might be like four-ish, maybe five-ish, potentially a sixth. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, see how that goes and hopefully we can encounter all the Oak events. And supposedly there's rumors of a new, new enemy, some of the Red Zones. Things like that, so we might need to try and do that. And, of course, we do still need to raid under the new thing. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, they just don't want to raid us, which is just great, because that means no revenge raids, and that means that we're going to have to go out and do some quests for the raiders. We'll probably have to take out the blind one. Uh, that's one of the quests for the raiders. So we got a pretty big to-do list of things to do, but those are all things that we are definitely going to do. But that's going to go ahead and start wrapping up for me. For now, best of luck to you guys with your own raids quests, with your own raids, with your own bunker runs, joining the chopper squad, and hopefully setting up an absolutely dope base defense. And oh my god, no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I'm dying of thirst. Oh no. Do I have some water? Okay, I got some water. I got some jerky. We good to go. So best of luck to you guys with that. And most importantly of all, best of luck. Enjoy an update 1.7.9 because i think it came out for ios now so all of us can enjoy it as well and of course best of luck and have an absolutely a favorite fantastic day but as gonna do it for me for now thank you guys old time for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you next one see ya